Oh no, I would watch two players are getting milked and destroyed by Blizzard once again. Who could have expected this? Guess what? Blizzard are back with another amazing offer for you in the Overwatch shop. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So let's break this down. Like it it just it just gets better and better and better and Ooh. better the monetization of this game. So we're gonna take a look at this Reddit post, but essentially let me break this down before we get into it. If you're playing Overwatch, you've probably seen this bundle. If you haven't, let me nice. give you the TLDR. This is the ultimate battle pass bundle for season seven. Now, what that means is... You oh, it's the ultimate battle pass bundle. Well, dude, this is fine. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't expect pay to pay less for the ultimate battle pass bundle. It's the ultimate one. This is... This must be worth it. I would be a fool to not buy the ultimate battle pass bundle. You get a bunch of extra sort of awesome value stuff added to this to make you think that it's actually worth the price. Now, you can see the price of this. It's 53.99 Canadian dollars. Now, US dollars, this is four. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask how much is that in real money? $40. So, you know, we're, we're basically, we're approaching the price of an actual video game, right, <laughs> at this point. But what do you get for this, right? And where nice. is the this current wave of outrage coming from and it's justifiable don't get me wrong like it's absolutely justifiable you know because the player base for overwatch have been rinsed and rinsed and rinsed with these shocking like true but my favorite part about overwatch is the fact that yeah Bl blizzard spanks them one time slaps them another completely rinses them the third time and just absolutely flat out beats them the fourth time and guess what? All the Overwatch players are like, please more. Please more. Do do it more. I want more. Uh, Overwatch players are spineless. This is why this happens. Overwatch players have never done absolutely anything in their lives that was not the equivalent of affiliating uh, Blizzard. The, the, so why not? I, I see absolutely nothing wrong with Blizzard doing this to Overwatch players because Overwatch players are unironically going to take it. Um, ah, okay, so look, look. In this pass, the ultimate pass, that is, you get 20 Battle Pass tier skips, right? You also get the premium Battle Pass for, seven, <laughs> uh, for, year, for Season 7. You get 2,000 Overwatch coins. Right? Wow. That's the premium currency. You get Inarius pharaoh which is what we can see here but then you also get the lilith moira skin now the lilith moira skin is arguably mm. the best skin in this entire season by an absolute mile and that's where a lot of the frustration is going to come from here let me just pull up a picture of this to show you so this is a skin. okay oh wow mommy please whoa <laughs> Nice. They they got Lilith's personality just right, I have to say that. Definitely just right. But in any case, who wants to place money on this bet? That Blizzard is going to tout that this is your only chance to get these skins by buying the Battle Pass. And after everyone buys the Battle Pass, after two or three months, guess what you can buy in the shop for an exorbitantly high price anyway? That's right, the skin with the fear of missing out part. <laughs> and it's a limited time offer, obviously. And it's already on discount, 30%. Whoa, it would be a shit. It, it would be stupid to not buy this at this point. Skin, I mean, you get the idea. This is based on Lilith from Diablo 4. It's Moira. It's incredible. I mean, it is, it's, it's just an insane skin. It's an awesome crossover skin. This is where things start to get... I mean, it's not actually an awesome skin. It just shows a reasonable amount of hot cleavage. That's it. I mean, the, the, that's the only thing... This the, the, reason only, the only reason this skin is good. Remove that and suddenly the skin... Imagine if this is covered up. How stupid and bad the skin suddenly becomes. It's true. Well, this is where all the, the anger is coming from. And like I said, it's completely justifiable. So... Uh, also, just to go through the rest of what you get here, you get Pumpkin Bastion, which is just the wow. epic skin. Um, you get the Be Careful, uh, Be Beautiful, sorry, uh, highlight intro, which is the wow. inspired highlight intro. Again, that's really cool and really well made. Um, and then you get a couple of sprays, right? So, where's the problem? 
Well, the, the problem is that I don't think I have ever seen a game after actually offer this little into the battle pass, okay? That's probably the problem. The problem is that you can only get this skin if you buy the ultimate battle pass. It doesn't even matter if you have premium currency in your account. That doesn't matter. Obviously. You cannot buy this skin on its own. It is inside the ultimate battle pass. So you have to buy the ultimate battle pass. See where I'm going with this? This is a particularly filthy tactic because what it does is it means even if you've got coins, let's say you were a player that grinded for coins and you were completing your um, weeklies and dailies and whatever they are, right? I think you might have enough now if you did it from last year to buy a legendary skin because they're very generous, Blizzard. Anyway, you might want to buy... <laughs> very generous. You see, this is the problem with the Overwatch 2 community. This guy is getting taken for a ride. He's making a video about how Blizzard is absolutely fellatioing him. And he's still saying, Oh, but Blizzard is so generous. They're so good to us. You see? You see? These people want this. Okay? They couldn't live without this. Buy this skin. Oh, yeah, this looks really cool. I'm going to buy it. Only problem is, um, you won't be buying this skin because it's inside the premium ultra super duper battle pass which costs you $40. So you see the issue here, right? Blizzard have a way of extracting dollars from the player base instead of letting them use their premium currency to buy this. Now, this is something Blizzard have been doing for a while because um, they originally didn't even let you buy the individual components of a bundle, a bundle in the shop, that is. This is different because this is a Battle Pass bundle, so it's a different thing entirely. Although it's still a bundle in the shop right it's it's so shocking so essentially their their offer here is do you want the lilith moira skin probably a lot of people do i think she's a pretty popular hero and even if she's not your main hero she's not my main hero but i look at that skin i'm like oh my god i need that skin it looks awesome but then i'm like hang on a minute i have to pay for i have to pay 40 dollars for this hang on i'm like can't i just why i mean even at like 19 dollars let's be honest that's still pretty expensive but it's not even uh, blizzard should just avoid all these problems by adding an 800 percent value next next to the battle pass instantaneous success ah, right it, it's just it is 40 dollars, and that is that take it or leave it i mean also look at this skin it's so bad not because it doesn't have any cleavage but you can absolutely tell just they 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 did not even put in the slightest amount of care in making it. Like look at how bad this looks. Unironically just looks like trash. Look at this on. Why is it like that? I don't know. It's, it's just sad. Look at how the helmet is being uh being held. It it's just so sad. Why does she even have a helmet? Honestly, it doesn't make sense to even have a helmet. Well, 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 well. Zero. Z zero effort was put into this. Now, this, of course, has caused a lot of problems, and rightfully so. I'd expect Blizzard will probably go, oh, um, after we've left this for a week or two, we'll go, guys, we're being so great and awesome. We'll, we'll let you buy this individually now. Whoa. <laughs> Will it or I mean, it's not hard to predict what Blizzard's gonna do. Then I don't know. They won't say that. It will be premium or go away. And um, but they want you to buy the premium battle pass. So the comment here from this Reddit user just says, "I saw the new Moira and Farrah skin in the trailer. I was excited for the first time in a long time. Some of the best looking um, and only skins for them in a long time. And of course, it's locked behind a shitty payware that uh, payware bundle. Um, not even available for premium battle pass, but the goddamn ultimate that you want." Uh, Obviously. I should have seen this coming. Way to be greedy and ruin the excitement. Yeah, I mean, again, that is also it is a valid point. This was the lead marketing image for all of Season 7. So <laughs> it's probably right in front of our faces. They're going to charge you big cash money for this, right? Nice. And they are. Uh, anyway, look at the top comment. This is where things like I think get really interesting because we are very firmly in a world now where I, I mean, I say to you, right, why the hell would you buy that skin, even if it was the greatest skin ever in, in the game for the hero that you play, that has no impact on anything other than your visual appearance to other players. Yeah, you get a new first-person model, um, but the rest of the skin you don't really get to enjoy. Maybe you get some unique voice lines. Maybe you get unique visual effects. That's all you're getting for your money. You can actually just go out and buy a full game and sit there and play that game. 
Now, I don't want to sound like a sim, but this is a bundle. Think about all the value you'd get. Blizzard's actually being so generous here. You get two 2k coins, two legendary skins, and with epic skins with highlight intros along with BP? Ba oh, Battle Pass. And ints. 20 level skips, yeah, because no one wants to do the battle pass because it's so stupid, mundane, tedious that you want these uh, level skips, right? Man, there's no there's no better way to implement something in the game, but people are, uh, uh, want to skip it because it's so ass. Bruh. And 161 upvotes. Why isn't this person permabanned? Because it's the Overwatch 2 community, that's why. Secretly, I know it looks bad, but secretly Blizzard has the player's best intentions in mind, obviously. Game for hours and hours and hours and hours and get loads of entertainment. The top comment here just says my jaw literally dropped when I seen the price. And it is, it, it is. I mean, you could go out and buy, well, you couldn't buy Baldur's Gate 3 because that's still full price, I think, at the moment. But probably that'll drop down in price fairly soon. You'll be able to buy that. You'll get hundreds of hours of gameplay out of that. But there's loads of games out there. Literally loads of games out there you could buy and get tons and tons of uh, entertainment out of it. And that is the problem I've got with all of this stuff in the store because Blizzard are like, you need to make us want to part with our money, right? We we love the game, we play the game, and we know you've got a monetization problem because you're finding it difficult to extract, I guess, money from the wider player base. So what you're doing is having these... No, they don't. No, they... they ha Blizzard absolutely doesn't have a problem extracting money from the wider player base. You just, you just keep giving it no matter what kind of stupidity they do. And why wouldn't Blizzard, in that case, take that opportunity to extract all of your money? Hellishly overpriced sort of bundles that are tempting people or even forcing them. I mean, I've been on record before saying this game is monetized through frustration, and I still believe it is. It's, it's not monetized very well. It's not monetized in the sense of making the player feel great when they spend money on an in-game purchase. <laughs> he knows! He knows, but he keeps on playing and doing it and defending Blizzard. Just like, you, do you want this? Okay, well, it's in a bundle. You need to pay more. Oh, you thought that'd be $19? Nah, it's in a $40 bundle. Do you want it or not? And you're like, oh, oh, by the way, it's going to be leaving the store soon. So you oh, and you're like, oh, and then you buy. That's monetization through frustration. And it is terrible. And it is just, it's, I, there's just no way around it. It's terrible. I don't like it. Anyway, we can we'll go through some of these comments here, and then we. I honestly think Blizzard at this point could just easily add, you know, a monthly subscription cost of like a hundred bucks to this game, and a lot of people would still honestly just do it and not make anything free, and people would complain about it, but they would still play it. It would. It wouldn't even matter for them that they can't. Uh, that they can't find a match in five hours because no one wants to play this game anymore. They would still probably buy the skins and bundles and everything. It's, it's just ridiculous. Overwatch 2 players have... are 100% responsible for this on their own. They didn't... Blizzard didn't do this. Overwatch 2 players allowed Blizzard to do this and then said thank you, where's more? We're going to jump over to, I think we're going to jump over to IGN and take a look at their breakdown because I think they've got some more reaction as well from people on uh, X, as I believe it's called now. <laughs> anyway, X. look at this. It's in Canadian dollars, but it's still 40 US dollars, right? It's the same price as previous seasons. Actually, this is a point um, I do want to bring up because this is really interesting. Now, I don't want to sound like a simp, but it is a bundle. You get 2,000 coins, two legendary skins with one epic skin with a highlight intro with the battle pass and 20 level skips. If you want to just buy one skin, it's not worth it. But if you wanted to buy both the Battle Pass and the $20 coins, you may consider it. It's content uh, with Banshee Moira. So, uh, I've got... Anyway, I'm content, sorry. It's not content. That person is content with their <laughs> Banshee Moira. This is classic, right? Because this is what Blizzard are trying to do. It's this, like, inflating the value proposition. I keep using that phrase. I think it's the best one we've got. Where they're going, like, look at this. Do you want this and this? Well, you also get this, 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 and this, and this, and this. And we're going to inflate the price. I mean, if I take you back up to the top of this thread, if you, you let's be realistic, right? There are two things that you're going to want in this pack. It is either the Inarius Farah, this skin, or it's this, right? It, that's it. So you just want one of those, right? Okay, maybe maybe you're a player that's like, okay, I main Farah and Moira, so okay, I'm, I'm seeing value here. All this other stuff, though, is just slapped in to make it feel like it's worth 
more. You know, you get what I'm saying? It, and it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. And it works. And it really, really works. Because you see comments like this, and you see this all over the internet. And it's like, oh, yeah, but no, it's great value. You know, you're going to buy it anyway. Oh, it's great value. It's like, no, 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 no. You have to understand what they're trying to do here. And it's, it's sinister, which makes sense because it is uh, a rather sinister... It is Blizzard. ...month that we're in, I guess. <laughs> so we get this <laughs> argument and, and this is... Oh, no, he you defended them again. This is great. You see all the time as well, and it's the argument of like, ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. If these are the people who are against the Overwatch 2 monetization and how it's working, oh, wow, I don't want to see... I don't even want to think about the people who are for what Blizzard is doing. They're probably absolutely off the rockers. It's just aimed at whales, right? They just they just want people who spend loads of money to buy it. And that's... Is that okay? I don't know. You know, for me, I've always viewed... I, I mean, it's I probably not even outdated, aimed on whales, of, honestly. Uh, a view on Blizzard. It's, it's 40 it's 40 bucks this is not even aimed on veils things have changed and they've changed over the last couple of years but like i always viewed them as a company that tried to produce games that were first and foremost for the people um enjoying the games you get max like the maximum amount that hasn't of, been like, a thing so for 10 years to sell you something you knew you were going to get a ton of content a load of stuff you know whether that was an expansion pack for warcraft or even like warcraft 3 i mean i remember the expansions came out for that they were mind-blowing you know but like We've gone away from that to them just going like, it's king monetization. I mean, I know they're part of the same company, but that's what it is. It's like, let's just get the people who want to spend the most money because they're idiots or they just don't care about money or they just, that's what gives them pleasure. It's just buying really expensive stuff. Let's just target them. And then the rest of everybody else can sort of coast along and have a good time. But like, again, my issue with this is I just feel like, you know, I could go off on a tangent here again. Um, we've got the World Cup bundles available now, which are the oh boy. bundles for um, uh, the World Cup. The problem with those bundles is um, I think they are I think Bad? too expensive. Like, I, I... <laughs> oh, oh, really? Oh, really? Blizzard's going to make something too expensive for you? Oh, oh, really? Oh, well, how could this happen? Who would have... Ex These people deserve everything that's happening to them, okay? Why are you not selling There's like, a no excuse. bundle, Blizzard, of like, I don't know, a load of World Cup skins, because they're just recolors and, and the flags and the icons and, and that stuff. Why is, uh, let me guess, they're more expensive than that and they're just recolors? Well, the, the answer is simple, because you're going to still buy them. You're going to still buy these useless shitty recolors for probably like 20 bucks. So yeah, why should Blizzard sell it for 10 if you're going to just dish out 20 anyway? Why are they not doing that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay, so I'm editing this video at the moment and <laughs> what I've said is totally wrong. So we've got to correct this. Look at this. There actually is a $10 bundle. You can buy this. It's $10 and it is an Overwatch World Cup crowdfunding bundle, but... I'll it get the one jail thing here in and it? say like, okay, you get a Lucio skin and then you get the World Cup weapon charm. But I mean, why don't they just give you the skins for all of the countries or maybe even let you select a grab bag, you know, because if uh, let's say I only want, um, you know, the UK skins, then just give me them and let me have the player icon and the banner, you know, but it's like, no, it's not. And I don't know whether this, this is looks so bad. make people And they it. call this an epic know, skin. Anyway, back to the video. Like wow. Instead, it's this, again, big bundle of like you, you get a sojourn epic skin in it it's 30 plus dollars you're gonna buy this <laughs> like you know ooh, we're gonna give some of it to the world court which i think is great i do i do agree with crowdfunding um and oh by the way um so one of the st now that i know the pricings one of the strategies blizzard is actually using here is pretty simple they are creating the illusion of value they're not creating the illusion of value by saying Oh, oh, you're gonna not only get this skin, but all these five things. Sure, that does also play in it. But in reality, what Blizzard is uh, doing here most is just doing this thing. If an epic skin just uh, costs on itself 30 bucks, and a legendary costs only 40, that's a steal, boy. Two for 40? You would be a fool to not buy it. It's actually 800% value offer. Wow! Wow, this should cost probably 150, but you're getting it for only 40 and two. Yo, are you an idiot? You, you're an idiot if you don't buy this. This is what they are doing because they're just using the fact that they control the market and they, they can artificially create uh, concepts of value in players, right? And that's how they do it. 
if if every if, if every uh, uncommon skin is ten bucks, for example, and epics are thirty, and suddenly you know previously there uh, there was a legendary for sixty, and suddenly there's a legendary for forty, that's a steal. That's an absolute one hundred percent steal. How do you not buy that? This is also a very popular tactic that they can do. Oh, cool. But, like, it just doesn't feel like it's very accessible to the wider player base. And I, I worry, how long can that actually keep going on? Forever, okay, you obviously. Want some spice? I'll give you some spice. So, you see this comment here. I can't believe they're really keeping this prize point. I thought it was only going to be like that last season because of PvE. Wrong! <laughs> wrong! Wrong! <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, because once we increase wow. the price of this offering... We're always going to keep it at that price. It's never going back down to yep. the cheaper price. It's literally $10 more expensive now because we're going to keep it at that price. You love it. Okay, let's go and take a look at IGM. The reason why I want to take a look at this because it's, it's very like indicative mm. of just wider gaming interest because, yeah, we can look at it from the diehard Overwatch fan. We can look at Reddit. We can look at our own experiences and whatever. We've all played enough Overwatch, especially if you're watching this video. You've definitely probably played enough Overwatch. Um, but this, I think, gives like more of a wider perspective uh, from other people that maybe overwatch isn't their main game yeah they've got a bit of interest in it how are they reacting well it's, it's as you know you can expect so they say this blizzard locks overwatch 2's hotly anticipated diablo 4 skins behind a 40 dollar bundle sparking a backlash little sub comment cold indeed so overwatch 2 developer blizzard has come under fire for locking eye-catching Diablo 4 skins behind a $40 bundle. Launched yesterday, the Lilith skin for Moira and the Inarius skin for Farah are both part of the $39.99 Ultimate Battle Pass bundle for Season 7. Lilith and Inarius are the main characters from Blizzard's action role-playing game Diablo 4. Lilith, the demonic mother of Sanctuary and antagonist of the game... They're, they're not even the main characters. You are the main character, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> because you saved the world and do the shit. You're the main character. Inarius, a fallen angel who ostensibly defends humanity. Both of these Diablo 4 skins, uh, which Blizzard leaned on to promote the recently launched Season 7, Rise of Darkness, are exclusively sold through the $39.99 Ultimate Battle Pass for, for now Season 7. Exclusively. There is no other way to get the skins other than forking out real-world money. For now. It is worth noting the bundle includes nine items, here are the contents of the Ultimate Battle Pass, all right? So we, we know what the contents are. We've been through that. Shocked Overwatch 2 players reacted in anger to the way Blizzard is making these Lilith and Anarius skins available. In a thread on the Overwatch subreddit that's seen nearly 14,000 upvotes, accused, um, Yayo Protocol accused Blizzard of being greedy, saw the new Moira and Farah skin in the trailer, and was excited for the first time in a long time. Um, some of the best-looking skin... Oh, okay, we've, we've read the Reddit post. Okay, great, great, great. Um, and that, as IGN goes on to say, Yayo is but one of many disgruntled Overwatch 2 players who dislike the bundle. I have premium currency saved up for I love that the news is literally just about Reddit, uh, someone on Reddit being angry. Dude, at this point, reporters, what, what do they honestly do? Nothing. They, ju they, they just go on Twitter, see what's happening, or go on Reddit of a specific game and see what's happening. And that's it. It's kind of, kind of funny, honestly, in my opinion. But yeah... I, it seems like this is the whole story, and well, it, it, it's as well, it's as common as it gets, right? Oh, be Overwatch 2 player, get absolutely demolished by Blizzard's greed, and uh, still do nothing about it because, well, you're not gonna quit playing Overwatch because you're stupid. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Overwatch players deserve all of this, okay? It, it is what it is. It'd it be how it was. And it never was different. Overwatch players have always been absolute cucks. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I I'm sorry. <laughs> In any case, that was from Stylosa. Yeah, Overwatch and Overwatch 2. Woohoo! <laughs> Pretty funny stuff sometimes. It is what it is. Oh, you can't see it. Oop, there you go. See? It's Stylosa. That's decent. Anyway, this was Quizzer Said Said. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.